today being our last session we started on the 15th of december and let us all sum it up and i request the coordinators to facilitate this uh, interaction that we have planned and we will start the interaction now request all of you to participate and i am going to answer all the queries after this particular quiz that we have planned shall we start now and for summing up the first question is which of the following is the dictionary meaning of a facilitator one who is friendly with you one who makes it easy for you one who answers all your questions and one who evaluates you quickly let us see who is going to answer this pune SGSIT tech comes back with 2 and KJ Somaya follows Mumbai 2 very nice all of you are very clear about what a facilitator is thank you and so the answer happens to be 2 the one who makes it easy for you so the facilitation is making things easier yes all the centers are following thank you very much we'll continue for the 21st century learner it's required that we need to move towards dash rather than teaching in our classrooms can you fill in the blank it's a one word it is required that we need to move towards dash rather than teaching in our classrooms amruta puri asc congratulations facilitating and thank you and though pune si csr and nirma says interaction it is facilitating in the classrooms which also definitely includes interaction thanks for the all the answers and the answer is we need to move towards facilitating rather than teaching in our classrooms the third is the number of intelligences that howard gardner has categorized with his multiple intelligence theory are 7 9 4 8 Seven Indur comes back with the first answer. Seven Velur. Yes, can I have the answer? Nirma is one and Sona is four. We seem to have multiple answers for multiple intelligences. <laughs> Government Engineering College Trishur is eight. Yes, I think the first one A C Amrita Puri is the right one. Nine is the intelligence number of intelligences that Gardner has. Uh, categorized though we concentrated on seven of them in our particular session because they are relevant to our engineering classroom context thank you for that so the answer is 2 which is 9 is the number of intelligences this is a bit descriptive i request you to read carefully which of the following statements is false the multiple intelligence theory signifies that faculty has to structure the classroom activities to suit the profiles of learners the teacher needs to provide opportunities to learners to demonstrate their learning through methods that match with their personal intelligence profile faculty is to strengthen areas that appear at the lower end of the intelligence profile and faculty needs to teach about all the multiple intelligences in their classrooms which is false yes nirma amadamal comes back with answer four and followed by pune amaravati indor ya yeah, thank you for the correct answer and that happens to be answer four that is what is false here is faculty needs to teach about multiple intelligences in the classroom we don't have to teach about multiple intelligences but rather it is very significant that we need to understand it and then use it to structure our activities as well as provide opportunity to learners as well as strengthen those of which which are very important for a professional engineer and they happen to be at the lower end we need to strengthen them up thank you for that and the next one is a process wherein the learner is actively involved and engaged with the content to be studied is called as dash it's learning it's active learning it's activity based learning and constructivism yes indoor comes back with the first and the correct answer it is two that is active learning and i see that 
all of you, most of you have given the right answer. Thank you for that. Yes, we see active learning happening here. The process by which a learner is taken from a known concept to an unknown concept is called as DASH. It's analogy, physiology, it's an example, it's an illustration. Yes, I see the first answer which is the correct answer. Analogy is a very, very interesting as well as very useful tool which takes the learners from a known everyday identified concept to an unknown to be learnt concept. The next one is analogy inherently is integrated with the following intelligences. Kinesthetic, visual and logical, intrapersonal, linguistic and logical, kinesthetic, interpersonal and intrapersonal and musical, intrapersonal and visual. Which of the combinations? SGSIT Indur comes back with the first correct answer though Sona came back first and second one that is intrapersonal, linguistic and logical. As we discussed during our session on analogy, it is very important to realize that using analogy automatically involves tapping as well as addressing the linguistic, logis, logical and the intrapersonal intelligences. However, it can be made to touch the other intelligences like kinesthetic, visual as well as even musical. And just like how we saw Professor Fatak has been using throughout his lectures and specifically with the animation that was used, Mr. Dumbo, where it, it so much of visual intelligence was also touched, right? Thank you for that. The correct answer is two, that is intrapersonal, linguistic and logical. The different learning levels according to Bloom are, fill in the blanks please. Can we have the answers? You can even type in the first letters if typing the entire word is yes, understand, remembering. I see people are in a hurry to type. <laughs> That's nice, remembering, applying, evaluating, analyzing, yes, remembering, understanding, yes, yes, I see that you are taking time but I see that most of you have written all the six levels, yes, it is remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. I think SVNIT Surat is the first to answer this complete, all six of them, congratulations. And this is what the answer is. We'll move on. The session objectives need to be. Kindly fill in the blanks and the hint is please be smart. Please be smart for this. You have to expand so we are waiting. Yes. How should the session objectives need to be? Kindly fill in the blanks. You need to be smart, yes, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, fantastic, Simagat Pune, yes, somebody has missed the last one, looks like people have, ah yes, time bound, Trishur comes back with the correct answer, AC Bangalore also at the same time, time bound is the correct, so it has to be smart and the answer is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. Great, thank you. And interactive methods in our classroom enhances participation and retention, involvement and interest, skills in addition to subject matter and all of the above. Can I have your answer? Of course, Indoor SGSIT, thank you for the correct answer. First, everybody follows. The answer is four. So, in fact, interactive methods can enhance all of this. It enhances the retention, just as Dr. Kaulgod showed that between passive and participatory methods and it also enhances participation by different students with different kind of learnings and it enhances involvement and the interest and of course it builds skills in addition to the subject matter which are highly important for the employability of our students. Thank you, the answer is four and it enhances all of these several things. The next question, list any four active learning methods. 
suitable for our own engineering classrooms any four any four active learning methods interactive methods which are suitable according to you in our own engineering classrooms can i have the answers we know you have to type role play games case study quiz ac amritapuri is the first thank you role play case study pune very nice in addition people have written discussion analogy great and i see role play with everybody almost brainstorming interactive role play that is interesting so analogy visual case study brainstorming yes we have lot of things demo yes very interesting so the list can go on like we previously displayed you can have any kind of group work discussion debate role plays case studies quiz games puzzle and the list can go on because you can be the designer of such active learning methods thank you the next question in addition to subject matter the mxla session plan can help us to imbibe dash to the learners in the classroom is it verbal intelligence is it interpersonal intelligence is it visual intelligence and is it all of the above and some more i see that people did not even wait asc bangalore is the first to answer it is four all of the above and some more thanks for everybody's correct answers and the session plan just now we discussed can help us to imbibe several of the intelligence and plus lot more learnings outcomes the answer is four and that is all of the above and finally the objective of a mxla session plan are to complete syllabus in the given time to prepare students for the examination to have different activities in the classroom to complete syllabus in an effective manner while involving the students through active learning great nobody is waiting for me to read it out also vellur institute is the first one to come back with the right answer answer 4 and i don't see any wrong answers there so thank you for understanding the philosophy particularly of the mxla session plan that we still maintain that we complete the syllabus in the stipulated time as required by the university as required by all of us however we involve the students effectively through any active learning method thanks a lot and that has been a great summing up and great set of sessions for mission tenex and i must say we have enjoyed these sessions very much and to conclude i have a set of uh, clarifications as well as discussion points first one is kindly this is request to all the participants and specific to coordinators to facilitate such that all the participants please upload all your assignments i'll come back to each of your queries let me first uh, put across my own points then we will come back to your specific queries in case they have not still been answered the first request is kindly upload all your assignments though i already see several of them uploaded as much as 100 plus right from our day 1 to day 8 and all of them have been uploaded every day as i mentioned there is a link where you get your assignment and there is a submission link correspondingly where you can upload your assignments and a feedback form specific to mission to next sessions has also been uploaded in addition to the feedback form for the workshop all our uploaded links have the name starting with mission tenex so you will see a link with mission tenex hyphen feedback kindly upload this feedback also we request you to give us critical feedback regarding all the points that have been listed and please add just as professor fatak mentioned any additional thing that you would like to mention and kindly upload the same and if there are any queries kindly come back to my email id which already i displayed that sujata.jagannath@wipro.com any time either through the coordinators or through the or individually any time and you can come back to us with queries 
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच